so I haven't uh, been chatting for a while. The, uh, the sound of silence often kicks in when I'm struggling mentally with my brain. And I've been working with my doctor and a naturopath for the last uh, four or five months to gradually wean off the three medications I've been on for the last uh, seven years. Uh, those are amitriptyline, Wellbutrin, and uh, Celexa. So when I started weaning off in February, uh, beginning of February, I stopped taking the amitriptyline under the doctor and naturopath supervision. I noticed within the first week an increase in my energy level in the morning. One of my biggest problems for the last seven years while I've been on meds is not that I felt depressed, it's that I had no energy in the morning. Uh, getting out of bed was tough, all I ever want to do is go right back to bed. Once I got to work, things were fine, or once I got out of the house and doing things, things were fine, but I was always so fatigued. And within a week of stopping the amitriptyline, that was gone. And so that is one of the side effects of amitriptyline is it can make you fatigued, which I guess is better than having depression. So the next month, uh, it was for March, beginning of March, I uh, stopped taking the Wellbutrin and uh, didn't really notice any side effects of stopping the, the Wellbutrin. Uh, so by the end of uh, March, I was uh, done both amitriptyline and Wellbutrin and the only side effect was I had more energy, which was awesome, thinking, why did I stay on these meds so long? And then at the beginning of April, I started decreasing the Ciprolex. Now the Ciprolex, I was on three pills a day. And so to wean off it, I was suggested to go down to two pills a day at the beginning of uh, April. And then uh, one at the beginning of May, and then I'll be done at the end of June. So I uh, went off the uh, Ciprolex. It went down from three pills to two pills of the Ciprolex and didn't really notice much difference. Uh, but went to see my doctor in the middle of uh, late April to just a regular checkup as uh, you're going through this withdrawal process of, uh, of meds and uh, uh, getting checked for some other things. And I'm, I get weighed all the time as part of being on medication. And I had gained 10 pounds um, since, uh, since February, and which is really weird. Usually, you know, as the winter and spring comes around, I, I lose weight, I'm more active. I hadn't been eating anything differently, so I'd gone from uh, 230 pounds, which I'd been sitting at for quite a few years. I wanted to be down around 220, but you know, I was kind of happy with 230, thinking that extra 10 pounds had something to do with uh, the meds you're on, because quite often side effects of meds are weight gain. So here I am going off meds, and end of April, I've gained 10 pounds. So I'm not happy with that, but uh, my mood's good and my energy's good, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, so at the beginning of May, I went from uh, two pills down to one pill, and uh, that's where I am now. It's, uh, it's the end of May, but uh, I've now gained another 10 pounds, and I've gone up to 250 um, by mid-May, and just last week I went up to 254.6 pounds. And, you know, and I mentioned it to, uh, to my doctor, it's like weight gain isn't one of the side effects of going off meds. Uh, yet here I am, gone from 230 to you know, 255, that's 25 pounds in uh, three, four months. That's a lot of weight for a guy who's been pretty consistent his whole life. So uh, I've decided, you know, it's not a lot I can do with it. I, I'm trying to exercise but uh, uh, and, and I'm eating properly. But the last little while, my mood's gone crappy. And I'm thinking, okay, is that because I've gained weight that's bothering me? Or is that because I'm decreasing the meds? And, and really, you don't know. Uh, so I've decided at this point, I'm just going to live with the fact that I've put on some weight as I'm decreasing the meds. Uh, next Monday, I go from one pill of Ciprolex a day down to zero. So that'll be a, a full withdrawal from my system. And uh, we'll see how that does with respect to, to mood and energy uh, and weight gain. And, uh, and hopefully uh, my brain gets a new balance of the chemicals and starts producing the chemicals itself uh, again. And, uh, and then uh, at that point, I'll continue to focus more on getting my weight back down to, to where I want it to be. 
So my ideal weight for me is I've always wanted to go down to about 200 pounds. I'm six foot two, that's a pretty healthy weight. I was at 230 wanting to be 220 and eventually down to 200. And now I'm sitting at 255 uh, wanting to be down to 200. So that's a pretty big drop. So I'm gonna deal with the psychology first of going off the meds. Uh, I'm almost there. Uh, and the only side effect so far is weight gain. Um, but then the last couple weekends or weeks, uh, it's been a couple days in a row of just fatigue again, um, but not depression. I am not feeling uh, like I don't want to do stuff. It's just I'm tired all the time. So hopefully that's just a side effect of going off the med. Although that could be, you know, one of the reasons I started taking meds was I was tired all the time. But there it was, I couldn't sleep and I had memory and concentration issues. So now, it's just I'm tired. So hopefully uh, I'm not, I don't have to go back on meds. Uh, I'm uh, feeling pretty good today. I, uh, nice rainy day, making the grass green and uh, attitude of gratitude, counting my blessings, uh, uh, loving life and uh, happy to be going off meds. Uh, but sometimes uh, I just disappear from the world for a couple days because uh, all I want to do is stay in the house and sleep and it's almost like I need to recharge my batteries by doing that and if I give myself permission to do that I usually come out of it okay actually I always come out of it okay um, but when I used to worry about having those days where I didn't want to do anything that would cause me to, um, to really have a lot of angst and uh, and not do well so, I'll keep it posted, uh, the sound of silence, uh, I'm, I'm not silent anymore and hopefully I'm back to, uh, to share some more of uh, my journey with brain health and brain illness, so uh, hopefully it helps you like other people talking have helped me. That's all for now.